اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم ارین الحق حقا ورزقن اتباعہ و ارین الباطل باطلا ورزقن اجتنابہ رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل اللقدتا من لسانی یفق قولی اللہم انا نعوذ بکا من ان نشرک بکا شیئن و نعلم و نستغفرکا لما لا نعلم اللہم صلی علی سیدنا محمد و علی آلہ و اصحابہ و اہل بیتہم اجمائین Alhamdulillah, uh, for past several months, uh, we are holding these uh, Juma lectures uh, uh, regularly without any, uh, without any pause. Uh, but they were in Urdu language. Uh, but uh, there is a lot of space that we have found uh, for the English audience and for uh, for for other language for for the speakers of the other languages all around the world so alhamdulillah since last Friday we have started these uh, Juma sermons sermons uh, Friday sermons in English language as well alhamdulillah and we hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give us strength uh, to 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 uh, to keep ourselves uh, consistent uh, in these lectures. So mainly our, t- our target audience uh, for this is uh, th- uh, the Muslims uh, living in the West, as well as uh, the Muslims of Middle East. Uh, who do not understand Urdu language but many of them do understand English Uh, similarly the Muslims in the Far East and rest of the world secondly uh, our target target audience is the followers of Abrahamic religions uh, Christianity and Judaism the Jews and the Christians and believers of uh, other religions but mainly the followers of uh, Abrahamic religions as well as atheists so uh, last week we discussed how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would ask ask Jesus alayhi salam would ask Isa alayhi salam on the day of judgment That, O Isa, was it you and your mother who told people to to worship you? And Isa, Jesus, would deny, would deny this allegation, would clearly say that, O Allah, if I had done such a thing, you were witness, you would have been witness to that. So you know, Allah, that myself or my mother never told people to worship us. Rather, we have been calling people to the oneness of Allah, oneness of, O oh God, the glorious, and to worship them, uh, to uh, and to worship Him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains the whole scenario and and denies the concept of Trinity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly denies the concept of Trinity and the huge slander that the Christians have made on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala na'udhu billah, na'udhu billah, na'udhu billah and on the mother of Jesus alayhi salam the virgin Mary Maryam alayhi salam 
was a virgin a man never touched her as a spouse so allah subhanahu wa taala explains this scenario in quran that how the concept of trinity is totally wrong and what is the correct belief in place of trinity how isa alay salam came into being and what was the happenings of the day when isa alay salam came to this world allah says in the chapter of the quran that is named after mary alayhi salam peace be upon her a whole chapter of quran is named after the uh, after the mother of jesus alayhi salam virgin mary alayhi salam so that chapter of quran is uh, surah al maryam that is the 19th chapter of quran it is the chapter named mary peace be upon her so allah says in the 16th 16th ayah of uh, surah al maryam was kur fil kitab maryam idhin tabadat min ahliha makanan sharqiya o nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam let's talk about let's mention in this quran in this book mention what maryam mention the mother of isa alay salam mother of jesus mary is in tabadat min ahliha makanan sharqiya she withdrew from her family into a separate place on the eastern side fattakhadat min dunihim hijaba then she started to keep herself away from everyone from family members and other people fa arsalna ilaiha ruhana when she was alone allah subhanahu wa taala says we sent our we sent ruhana we sent our a spirit we sent an order we sent a spirit spirit fatamassala laha bashara basharan sawiya and that spirit meaning an angel of allah subhanahu wa taala was sent in the form of bashara in the form of a human being sawiya a very well proportioned a very gentleman looking person was sent who was actually an angel who was actually a spirit who was actually a non material thing a non material creature allah subhanahu wa taala said when mary took herself aside from other people and went to a lone place on the eastern side and that place as we know was the place of worship then allah says we sent a spirit we sent an angel in the form of a human being in the form of a gentleman qalat inni a'udhu bir rahman she was a virgin she was a very pious lady she said qalat inni a'udhu bir rahman she said i seek refuge to allah subhanahu wa taala has used a very beautiful word over here it is not allah the word used over here is not allah the word used over here is not rab the provider the word used over here is not god the word used over here is a'udhu bir rahman i seek refuge to the most merciful to the most gracious to the ones who never does any wrong thing to his creatures so she said 
inni a'udhu bir rahman i seek refuge to the one who is most gracious and most merciful minka from you o gentleman in kunta taqiya if you have any fear of god you should spare me the virgin mary said to that man inni a'udhu bika a'udhu bir rahman i seek refuge to the most gracious the god allah almighty minka in kunta taqiya if you have any fear of god you should be you should spare me qala inna ma ana rasul rabbik that angel that spirit replied i am i am a messenger i am the a uh, an angel i am someone sent rasul rabbik from your lord from your provider li ahaba laki ghulaman zakiya so that i deliver you from allah subhanahu wa taala i bestow you i bestow you on the behalf of allah subhanahu wa taala laki ghulaman zakiya a son that would be very pious this is the happenings of the day when isa alayhi salam happenings of the time when isa alayhi salam had to come to life and he finally was born to virgin mary qalat anna yakunu li ghulam walam yamas walam yamsasni basharun walam aku baghiya how is it possible that a son would be born to me when no man has ever touched me walam aku baghiya nor am i a rebel baghiya i am not rebel to my god i am not i am not unforgetful of my god i am not i am not a rebel to my god i am i am someone who obeys god so how, how is that possible that no man has ever touched me nor a man is going to touch me how is it possible that a son would be born to me qala kadalik that angel in, who had come in the form of a gentleman he replied qala kadalik this is how it is this is how it is this is how it is because there is the order of allah that is the order of the provider that is the order of the most gracious the only god allah subhanahu wa taala qala rabbuki huwa alayya hayyin your lord says your provider the god almighty says it is very easy upon me wali naj'ala that has that's why allah subhanahu since allah subhanahu wa taala has decided it and this is very easy for allah subhanahu wa taala that's why allah would make it happen ayatan lin nasi wa rahmatan minna and wali naj'alahu ayatan lin nas allah subhanahu wa taala would make it happen and would make it an example make it a sign for the people wa rahmatan minna and it would be a mercy from allah subhanahu wa taala wa kana amram maqziya and this is something that has been written that has that is the destiny fa hamalathu fambazat fambazat bihi makanan qaziya and since the spirit was sent to the virgin mary and it was the order of allah subhanahu wa taala she bore a child in herself because of the order of allah subhanahu wa taala without any human being without any man touching her so she bore the child she she became pregnant she conceived a child fa hamalathu fan tabazat bihi 
and now she had to go away she had initially she had to withdraw from her family and other people now she had to withdraw herself makan and qasiya she had to go into a remote unattended place even farther from people because of this specific event because she had conceived a child fa fa ajaaha fa ajaaha al makhaz ila jiz'i an nakhlati qalat ya laytani mittu qabla hadha wa kuntu nasyam mansiya and then then the pain of labor started and she had to go under the palm uh, under under the trunk of a palm tree and because of that it was so painful also it was so stressing that she was bearing a child without a man having to touch her ever she said she cried qalat ya laytani she she cried in pain ya laytani alas alas oh i wish mittu qabla hadha i wish i had died before this wa kuntu nasyam mansiya and i wish i was died long before this and i would i wish i would have been forgotten long forgotten thing fanada fanada ha min tahtiha alla tahzani so allah says we we called her we called her min tahtiha from above her alla tahzani there is no need to grieve qad ja'ala rabbuki tahtaki sariya allah has your lord has started a stream under your feet there is water under your feet allah has started a stream of water from under your from beneath you from under your feet wa huzi wa huzi ilayki bi khiz in nakhlati and shake the trunk of this palm tree to saqit alayki rutaban rutaban janiya shake the uh, shake the trunk of this palm tree it will drop fresh ripe dates for you fakuli washrabi wa qari aina now there is no need to distress there is no need to grieve there is no need to worry there is no need to fear fakuli washrabi so eat these dates washrabi and drink this water wa qari aina and 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 cool your eyes down provide peace to your eyes because now you have a child ulam an zakiya very pious child in your lap and allah is talking to you from above your head and allah has started a stream of water from under your feet and allah has provided you fresh blessed food from the palm tree now all you have to do is stop worrying and fakuli allah is saying to my, the virgin mary fakuli washrabi so eat and drink wa qari aina and cool your eyes down by looking at this pious sun fa imma tarayna من البشر احدا فقلي اني نذرت للرحمن صوما and if someone ever is if someone comes to you or sees you or call or tries to talk to you فقلي فقلي tell him اني نذرت للرحمن صوما i have decided to keep a fast of talking for my god falan ukallima ukallima al yawma 
in Syria, so I cannot speak to any human being today. Sauman falan ukallimal yawma in Syria, so today I am keeping a fast of speaking, fast of talking. I will not talk to any human being. And Allah is telling her to tell this to any person who tries to investigate her, tries to talk to her. Allah told that she has to reply through the gesture of her hands without talking that she is not going to talk. فَأَتَتْ بِهِ قَوْمَهَا تَحْمِلُهُ Now she, after taking some rest, after receiving peace from Allah subhanahu ta'ala and, and after eating and drinking, she فَأَتَتْ بِهِ قَوْمَهَا تَحْمِلُهُ And she is, she is holding the newborn in her she is holding the newborn in her hands in her arms she went to his, to her people with the child in her hands qalu ya maryam laqad ji'ti shay'an fariya they obviously started putting started raising fingers on her and said, Ya Maryam, laqad ji'ti shay'an fariya. O Mary, you have come to us. You have brought a very horrible thing. Ya ukhta Haruna, ma kaana abu ki abu ki mraa sawu. O sister of Aaron, sister of Harun, ma kaana abu ki abu ki mraa so your father was not an evil person meaning he was a pious man wama kanat ummu ki baghiya nor nor your mother was a rebel nor your mother was characterless Fa they started raising fingers on her fa asharat ilayhi so obviously she did not talk to them rather she pointed her finger to her son jesus alayhi salam qalu kayfa nukallimu man kana fil mahdi sabiya how now the people said how is that possible that this child would speak it is still a newborn in your lap he would not be able to speak and you are not talking to us Qala inni abdullah. now since she was keeping a fast for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fast of not talking fast of talking she replied to them through gestures and pointed her finger to the child that he would reply to you they said, how is that possible that this child would reply? How is that possible that this child would talk? And while they were still, they, while they were still pointing fingers and they were not expecting the child to speak, قَالَ إِنِّي And then this miracle happened. And the child, the newborn, Jesus السلام, started talking while being in the lap of her mother Virgin Mary and while being a newborn he started talking and the miracle was happening right over there and 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 now the Virgin Mary was very 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 clearly seeing the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and she was now she knew why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told her not to worry not to distress not to grieve Qala inni abdullah, the newborn Jesus salam, said inni abdullah, I am the servant of Allah he never said na'udhu billah thumma na'udhu billah thumma na'udhu billah he never said that he was son of allah na'udhu billah 
may I, we seek refuge to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from such a slander. He said, I am the servant of Allah. Atani al kitab. He has given me a book. He has revealed his scripture on me. Waja'alani nabiyya. And he has made me a prophet. He knew right then and there that he would be given a book, that he would be given a revelation, a scripture, and he would he was Nabi. He was the prophet. Wajalani Mubarakan Ainama Kuntu and he has made me blessed wherever I am. Wa Ausani Bisalati was Zakati Ma Dum to Haya and he has ordered me, he has blessed me with Bisalati was Zakati Ma Dum to Haya that I keep offering my salat keep offering my prayers and keep giving charity zakat ma dum tu hayya until the time until my last breath wa barram bi walidati wa lam yaj'alni jabbaran shaqiya and allah has made me kind to my mother respectful and kind to uh, pious to my mother and walam yaj'alni jabbaran shaqiya he has not made me arrogant or defiant or rebel was salamu ala yawma walidtu and blessings and peace be upon the day i am born wa yawma amutu and the day i would die wa yawma ab'asu hayya and be peace peace be upon the day i would be raised alive again isa alayhi salam jesus started talking in the lap of her mother and allah told her uh, allah told him jesus alayhi salam to say these words and this newborn child on behalf of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that salamun ala yawma walidtu Peace be upon the day I am born. Wa yawma amutu. Jesus alayhi salam was so much blessed that the day he was born was blessed. The day he would die would be blessed. The day he would be raised again on the day, uh, on after death, after death when he would be raised again, that is also blessed because Isa, Jesus alayhi salam was born to a vir virgin and he is a miraculous prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah says Zalika Isa ibn Maryam that is the story of Isa alayhi salam that is my servant Isa alayhi salam qawlul haqq alladhi fihi yamtarun that is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has clarified the truth about which these Christians dispute about which the Christians have have derived their ways against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these are such a rhymic beautiful words of Quran beautiful sentences of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and and the most beautiful thing is when Isa alayhi salam started talk starts talking in the lap of her uh, mother virgin mary alayhi salam qala inni abdullahi atani al kitabu wa ja'alani nabiyya isa alayhi salam starts talking i am the servant of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala atani al kitaba wa ja'alani nabiyya allah has given me the book and he has made me a prophet wa ja'alani mubarakan aynama kuntu allah has made me blessed wherever i am wa awsani bis salati wa zakat and he has made me ordered me he has gifted me with the salat namaz prayer wa zakat and and zakah ma dumtu hayya until the time i am alive wa barram bi walidati wa lam yaj'al wa lam yaj'alni jabbaran shaqiya and allah has made me uh, dutiful to my mother and he has not made me uh, arrogant or def defiant was salamu ala yawma walidtu wa yawma amutu wa yawma ab'asu hayya i am so 
I am so blessed that peace be upon the day I am born, peace be upon the day I am I, I, I would die and peace be upon the day I would be raised again. That is Isa, son of Virgin Mary. And this is such a truthful thing Allah has clarified in Quran about which they had uh, they had uh, drawn <coughs> They had drawn slanders on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kaburat kalimatan takhruju min afwahihim in yaquluna illa kaliba. Allah says in chapter 18 of Quran that it is a huge slander on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and on Virgin Mary and on Prophet Isa alayhi salam. Kaburat kalimatan, the ones who believe in Trinity, they, 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 they slander Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Virgin Mary and Prophet Isa alayhi salatu wa salam. In yaquluna illa kadiba, they do nothing except speaking a lie. It is all lies that they speak. And we expect that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the Christians uh, that who believe in Trinity uh, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the Christians to the truth, to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they believe in a prophet that was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but they have exaggerated their religion so much and they have added uh, so much impurities to their religion so much so that in an attempt to drive, in an attempt to, to put logic in a miracle, they have Nauzubillah slandered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is a huge sin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not forgive on the day of judgment. Allah says, In Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika man yasha. Allah would never ever forgive anyone who has knowingly or unknowingly associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called something or someone else a God or or made expectations from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, made expectations from anyone apart from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of having expectations only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even if they do to the most pious even if they even if they exaggerate their love for the most pious and Allah's favorite persons, even then they will not be forgiven. Whoever they associate as a partner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not be forgiven. Allah has made it clear, clear in Quran, unless, unless and until they, unless they mend their ways and seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would forgive them so the one who think is the son of God is not the son of God he is a creature he is a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and on the day of judgment he would he would give witness against them and he would he would withdraw himself from such people and he would be among the ones who believed in oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and anyone calling him uh, who are calling him the son of God na'uzu billah would be considered his enemies on the day of judgment may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all the non-believers all of the Christians to oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in coming days inshallah we would keep on talking about more mentions of Jesus Isa alayhi salam and Virgin Mary alayhi salatu was salam in Quran and how Allah makes it clear that Jesus alayhi salam was sent by Allah and he was a servant of Allah just like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, just like Moses alayhi salam just like Daniel alayhi salam just like um, uh, David alayhi salam just like Solomon uh, alayhi salatu was salam and others uh, 
may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the right path. As-salatu was salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad. As-salatu was salamu ala Isa, Isa ibn Maryam wa ala ummihi wa ala kulli anbiya'i wa rusul. Amin ya Rabbul Alameen.